Josh, what made you like this? How can I be like you? Why are you such a great guy? And why isn't everyone subscribed to this channel? Seriously, mate, get on it. Well, fellas, I have the answer for you. Last summer, I did something and went somewhere that changed my life forever. And it was... Camp America! Woo! I went out to the big US of A and worked in Pennsylvania in a camp called Summit Camp. Now, before I get into the nitty gritties of how the experience worked, I wanted to say I'm not like advertising this. I'm not saying everyone should do it, but you know, I like talking about it. So why not make a video? It's a camp specifically for children with special needs. And honestly, it's a place I call my second home. And I won't bore you with the details of how the summer worked and what our days were like and how we actually functioned as a camp. But trust me, it was intense. Did you get it? Like tense, like tense, like camping. No, don't worry about it. And during camp, we would spend all day outside. There would be no phones and it was like a bubble inside camp and it was really refreshing actually. I wouldn't worry about what was going on in the outside world because well, you have no time. You have no time to worry about how big Boris Johnson's ruining the country. And it's quite nice. We're constantly surrounded in our everyday lives by stresses that we can't control, like politics, for example. And being in a situation in which you have no time to think about these things and no time to worry is actually really, really refreshing. I went out there to gain experience and also to learn a little bit more about what I'm taught about in my psychology classes. But I came back with a lot more, like a lot. I mean, to be honest, I probably wouldn't be in Spain right now if I hadn't gone to camp. And for that, I'm very grateful. It opened my eyes to how leaving the society that you live in every day can really help educate you about others and more importantly, yourself. I learned I was more resilient than I thought. My self-confidence shot up and I realized I was actually quite a strong person when I need to be. There's something about waking up early and being stressed 80% of the time and having to deal with constant fights and breakdowns does that to you. And over summer, I made some incredible memories. I met some incredible people and did things and learned things that I never would have done before. But it's not a walk in the park. It will test you and it will challenge you and I genuinely don't think there's one person at camp that didn't cry at some point because it is draining and someone said to me before I went out there and it's proper cringe so you know be prepared for that but they said it's the hardest job that you'll ever love and I don't think there's anything truer only through challenging yourself moving outside your comfort zone doing something that you're unsure of can you grow can you learn about yourself because even if you don't enjoy it the very least you'll come out with is the knowledge that you don't want to do that thing and grow. I certainly did. I don't know what that was. I just thought it looked cool when I edited it, but it probably doesn't. I was forced to be confident in myself. I was forced to refuse to take no as an answer. And I was forced to be understanding, most of all. Understanding that although someone can seem like they're trying to annoy you and really trying to dig away at you or make you upset, that you can't know everything that's going on in their head. Because a lot of the time, the face of things, the way things look from the outside, isn't often the full picture. I've moved on from this, I'm bigger than you, so I can't back down from an argument because honestly, it just doesn't work most of the time. I kind of put my pride to the side a lot now, which I wouldn't have done before, especially as this massive gym lad that I am. Oh, oh, scary! Oh, 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 shiver my timbers! Shut up, man! Sorry, I hate myself. I'm very tired. And to be honest, I think this has largely helped me move on from what happened in the past, and I've forgiven people because I don't know what they were going through, and I can imagine all of the stresses they may have had in their lives, and I just don't have time to hate people. Like, why waste all my energy where I could be having fun on going, oh, that person really makes me angry, ah. Uh. Now moving on from what a sick person this experience made me, I've also made some incredible memories. From canoeing down this beautiful river with massive big old trees and a mountain in the background, to meeting some incredible, incredible people that I never would have met if I didn't go. There's this kind of special connection 
when you work with someone at camp. Um, I don't know if this is the case with all camps, but it was with mine because you really go through it together. Like, really. You really have to be there for each other and I can't explain my appreciation for what people did for me when I was at camp and hopefully they appreciate what I did for them, please. That summer really opened my eyes to who I want to be as a person and what I want to do in the future. It's inspired me to travel more. It's inspired me to sack off full-time office work because that is long. I'm not doing that. And to be honest, this channel may not have been a thing if I didn't go to camp. Actually, it probably wouldn't have been a thing. But now I'm confident in my ability to help people. So I thought, if I have the ability to help someone, why shouldn't I? It's actually really difficult to explain how this experience has changed my life because it's something that I can feel or something that has developed over that summer. I've matured, I've learned a lot and I've developed my own skills and I would implore anyone to do the same. And I'm not saying everyone has to go to America to work in a summer camp. I'm just saying step outside of your comfort zone, try something that you are unsure of. And when you try things that you're unsure of, or when you do things that you haven't done before, at the very least, you come out with more knowledge about yourself. And at most, you can become a sick person like me. So, you know, who wouldn't want that? Anyway, I hope everyone is well. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And um, please subscribe. I will see you all later. Goodbye.